There are a lot of people in this world, especially traders, that don't know when to stop uh, while they're ahead. Uh, it, and it becomes an actual addiction in a sense to where a lot of people treat this business of trading futures or Forex, uh, even options, um, as gambling. Okay, And a lot of people at some point start to feel as if trading is a scam. This is a, is a business and you can make very good money in it and you can lose a whole lot of money uh, in this business as well. But the, the way to, to correct things, which I'll talk about, uh, is quickly identifying and knowing who you are as a person. If you're someone that struggles with, uh, or I should say this, are a very impulsive person, you have to... Uh, you're looking for a, a quick means of satisfaction. Um, you may want to step back, get yourself in line and in check. Look at yourself in the mirror before you start to tackle uh, the markets. OK, because we have money on the line. We have hard earned capital that we saved up and put to the side. Or if you're trading with a prop firm, you know, it's a vicious cycle, like I talked about, to where you can pass an evaluation and then quickly lose it, a challenge, and then you do it. It's like you keep doing it over and over, but all you're doing is feeding money to the company so the money's going straight to the top and you never get anything out of it. Now, if you're someone that's trading with your own capital um, and you have a addiction, please stop while you're ahead because I will assure you, you're going to keep coming back to the table and putting money into your uh, personal account, all right, with your broker. And you're going to keep losing money. And then you're going to put not only yourself, but your family at risk because, you know, there are a lot of people that actually go to casinos and they'll throw the whole life savings away and you know then the next thing you know they're uh being put out of their home and losing their their, their vehicles um and it, it it can create a nightmare for yourself and destroy or ruin your life if you do not stop while you're ahead you have to understand and how to quick uh, excuse me fix things um ahead of time okay don't wait to where it gets so bad to where you know, then you got to jump ship. You don't jump ship early. OK, if you figure out and find out that this business is not for you and you may be blown an account one, two, three times, then stop. OK. All right. Doesn't mean that you have to just give up, uh, but maybe take some time or space away from trading because there's something that de something definitely that you're doing or you're not doing correctly. OK, figure that out. All right. This is the reason why it's like there aren't a lot of things in life that um, uh, gives us the the tool to where we can test things out prior to actually going live. All right. Or going, you know, uh, head, uh, head first with trading. You know, we have the opportunity to to test things. OK. But first we have to understand, you know, the components. All right. Pick up the education piece, understand it and learn it. And that's where I talk about in videos about market structure. You have to master certain, uh, you know, just the, 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 the concepts of trading uh, and understanding the movement of the market, all right, to be able to know which way to truly trade it. But you also have to uh, understand a specific strategy and stick to concretely to a trading plan. And if you're someone that's just all over the place and you can't stick to your plan, all right, why are you trading at all? OK, because you have no rules or guidelines to uh, stay you know, in line with. And you're quickly going to find out. People say this to me all the time and I see it all over the place is the hardest thing for them to do is stick to the trading plan. They see something that looks appetizing on the chart and they're either taking a breakout uh, trade. They're chasing the market. And then that's where they get smacked on the hand. Now, I know a lot of people that are doing this still to this day, uh, even people who are making money and profitable. You know, sometimes you aren't just seeing things correctly and you're not waiting patiently for the market to, um, you know, show you a, a great opportunity and then you just take any old trade. All right. You have to just wait. If the market doesn't give you something or show you something or show its hand today, it will tomorrow. All right. There's always another day. So always remember that in the back of your mind. Tomorrow is another trading day. OK, so. A lot of times, you know, when I see something that's not unfolding correctly um, and it doesn't come back to one of my zones or my levels, then I just stay out of the market. All right. I'm not going to force things to actually happen because then that's when I know that 
I am going to take a major loss, for example, or I will, um, or I'm going to take on some drawdown, which, you know, I'm not in the business to be losing money, okay? I'm in the business to cut my trades early, protecting my capital, and being able to trade the next day, okay? So if you're someone that's taking on drawdown each time you're into a trade, then maybe you're doing something incorrect. If you're someone that's continuously blowing your account, uh, then you're not doing something correct. Step, uh, stop while you're ahead is what I'm trying to say. Don't let it come to a point to where you know you're having to forcefully jump ship because you have no more chips that you can actually put in. Okay, um, don't go in, blow your hard-earned family savings. All right, into this business. Don't don't do that. Don't start putting uh, personal things on the line. You know your personal assets. You know what you're cashing out on on the line just to see if you can get a quick fix to make a dollar in trading to try to turn your whole life around. It doesn't work that way. That's when you're gambling. Okay, don't treat this business as if you are a gambler because then you will become a gambler and you will be gambling just like you're at at a slot machine or a table. Please don't do that. This is a very, it can become very addictive uh, trading, but you can't come into it with this mindset, all right? Yeah, to have a passion or a love for something doesn't mean you have an addiction to it, okay? There's a difference there. The addiction comes from where you don't know how to separate yourself from something because it's got you so sucked in to where you just, you can't see above the water, all right? Because you keep digging yourself into a hole that's the addictive side to actually trading, all right? When you are good at what you do, you know, experience-wise, and uh, you know how to separate yourself, okay? You take a small loss, you know how to separate yourself. You know how to stop. So that's the difference of someone that's in a becomes addictive to trading futures or Forex or options versus someone that uh, can, you know, stop while they're ahead. You're not addicted, you know, because you know when to stop you know what it takes okay um so don't fall for the traps all right um and feel as if you have to always be into a trade all the time there's setups that are always going to unfold you just have to wait and be be a patient person so a lot of people struggle with that whole um i guess mindset of being patient they are impulsive and they just always want to be in the markets trust me you don't have to all right yeah it can be uh, frustrating sitting on the charts, just waiting for something to unfold, waiting for hours on end. But again, you've got to have a, a, a time period, all right, for your trading to know when you want to actually stop. Don't sit in front of the charts all day because nine times out of 10, when you're just sitting here at the charts, looking at the market all day long, you're going to force something, all right? If you don't get to trade a uh, setup in the, in the morning session, um, and you're someone that waits maybe into the afternoon session to trade if you didn't catch anything in the morning that's fine okay but me specifically i have a, a rule as part of my plan i'm like to trade pre-market and no later than about 11 okay am i guilty of trading in the afternoon session yeah I've, I've done it and there's nothing wrong with doing that okay but i typically like to trade in the morning time so again i I'm not allowing myself to become addicted and staying into the markets all day long. I'm separating myself. Mentally, you have to have more, you have to have the power of influence to be able to control yourself and not let the hunger or the addictive side of trading capture you. All right. Because then that's when you're going to fall victim to, um, you know, allowing this 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 market these markets uh to to capture you mentally and it suck you dry of the money and the hard-earned capital that you put into it don't do that just know when it's time for you to stop close your charts and step away if you're up on the day I always talk about first trade you've made money step away because the next time you go to enter the market more than likely you're probably going to lose what you made or you're going to break even and then it's like all right well hey you know, you don't want that feeling because it's a bad feeling when you up, you make money, and then it's a slap on the hand when you go back into the market and it takes back from you. So while you're up, cut your losses, okay? All right? And and that means be done once you, you've, you know, capitalized on your first trade, okay? Uh, but like I said, a lot of people have a hard time doing that. So this video is more so about, you know, uh, being able to uh, control your own psychology, all right. And understanding that if you have an addiction to trading, then that's something you're going to need to shake real quick. 
okay um especially if you're just throwing money into this business because of the fact is or into this i shouldn't say business because it is a business if you create it and make it a business um throwing money into the markets just because you need a quick fix and feeling like I need, I need to make some money right now right now right now and you forcing it then you're not clearly thinking you're into the, this you know business of wanting to trade with all the the the, the, the um wrong intentions okay um you have to understand the most important part to this business is being logical, being rational. A very irra irrational person is not going to survive long in this business. So, you know, if you're someone that's impatient and you have irrational thoughts and you, you know, you, you're always something that's a person that's very impulsive with your decision making, you're not going to make it very long. You're going to have to uh, look at yourself in the mirror and figure out that is me if, you know, and correct it as soon as possible. So I just want to share that with you guys today. Anyone who's watching this video, Hopefully, if, if you are struggling in any manner and you find yourself in a rut to where, you know, trading has become addictive, take a step back, okay? And, you know, basically state it to yourself, yep, I'm in this situation right now. I need to figure things out the correct way before I start getting back into this business of trading. So hopefully this reaches someone out there. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. But if you traded today, hopefully you had a successful trading day. Yes, the market was bullish to the upside today. We were, um, so uh, looking for pullbacks, trying to trying to trade supply and demand was a little, little tough. But, I mean, that's how the market is sometimes. You know, you just got to wait for it to come back to the zones and then, you know, um, take a shot, right? Uh, especially when it comes to high probability supply and demand. That's what we're talking about here, okay? But if you're a first-time viewer and you have not spent time watching the videos, please do yourself the biggest favor. Click the subscribe button. Uh, spend some time on the channel watching the videos, uh, the strategy and how I, I trade in many of the individuals who are part of our Discord community. Um, it's very simple if you take the time to understand it, okay? It really is. Uh, to spend some time watching the videos, it's not going to happen overnight. But once you get or understand the breakdown of the strategy, when because it, it all surrounds uh, chart confluence, you'll grasp it, okay? Now, if you want more insight and detailed information surrounding, uh, excuse me, guys, for the back uh, background noise, uh, more details surrounding my trade setups, okay, because they help, uh, meaning the breakdowns of trades that I take, uh, it's a private community. It's called the Elite Membership, or uh, uh, you can become an Elite, you know, member. Uh, there's a link down below in the description portion of the video. If you click on it, two tiers will pop up. It's going. You'll see the one for six dollars and ninety nine cent. That's how you can gain access to the tons. I mean, tons of uh, trade breakdown videos that I've done, and these are trades that I've, I've I've taken and posted on the Discord community for for community members to see. But I go into detail so that you grasp and understand the strategy and, and how it works, okay? Uh, so you can see it for yourself and then start back testing it yourself and even forward testing while you're in demo and simulation before you start putting money on the line. So just scroll down to the, the uh, description portion of the video. You'll see two links. The first one is the Discord. The second one, if you choose to become an elite member, all right? Again, you click on it, two tiers will pop up. Make sure to choose that second tier, okay? Uh, and what you're doing is you're supporting my efforts as a content creator. And in return, I'm giving a lot back. I'm giving a boatload of trade breakdown videos as well as a great video I did covering market structure for anyone that's, you know, um, struggling with market structure and the video playlist. It's all for $6.99 a month. Very inexpensive, okay? If you're interested in joining the Discord, the link's down below just as well. But outside of that, that's all I have for you guys today. Go ahead, click the subscribe button. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of the uploads to the videos here on the channel. And last but not least, if you do me the biggest favor and click uh, the like button, all right, that'll let me know that you found some value in today's video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.